Hey everybody, it's Teddy Kobe and welcome back to Let's Play Fire Emblem Awakening. So yeah, it's been a while since I've recorded this game, but there is a reason why. If you're following my channel, then you know why I haven't been recording this game for a bit. But yeah, I am now back to recording Fire Emblem Awakening. So, in the last part, uh, not much really. Just did the third paralogue in which we were trying to save some villagers from the Risen and... We managed to save all of them, but honestly, was it really worth it? I mean, maybe we we got one reward, the you know the rope thing, but the other rewards are crap. They were useless, so it seemed kind of pointless to save them all, despite the fact that they run to the you know t towards the enemies, which is stupid as well. So, ugh, I'm just glad it's done. So, yeah. So, for this part, we're going to do Chapter 9. Yes, we're going back to the main story. But, before we do that, we have some support conversations to do. As you can see, we have quite a bit of support conversations, so let's do them, shall we? Okay, Krom. Uh, oh, I still can't do the age rank yet, but should I do it now? Oh, I don't know. You know what? Screw it. Screw it. I'm going to do it right now. I'm going to do the ace support for Crom and Robin, but Frederick, eh, maybe next time. Uh, Lanku? Maybe I might as well do his as well for Muriel. But we also have a ton of support for Frederick, so yeah, let's do it. Alright, I'm going to save Crom and Robin for last. And, okay, let's do Frederick. Uh, who should go first? Uh, let's do Noe. Ah. Ah, Noe. Ah. Eee! <laughs> what? No, wait! <sighs> yes? What is it? Explain. Why do you attempt to flee, my lady? Have I done something to anger you? Listen. Last night, I had a nightmare about my basket of fruit being stolen. Right. Ah, yes. I see how such a thing might be. Er, except I don't. Why did that make you want to run away? Hmm. Because you were the thief. I didn't want to lose any more fruit. I see. This is unfortunate. I hate to think I wronged you, dream or otherwise. Perhaps it would clear the air if I offered you my ration of fruit this evening. I only ask one small thing in return. Really? For extra fruit? I'll do anything. Ah. Well then, I was hoping we might spend more time together. Sorry. Yeah, no. That's not worth fruit. Plus, you're not really my type. No. Milady, I do not mean as a proposal or a dishonorable idea. I want you to show me your dragon might. Huh? Huh? But why? Really? Opportunities to spar with a dragon are few and far between. To get even a taste of dragon combat would be a most valuable experience. Mm. Won't you be all scared and stuff? Ah. That is why I need your help. Fear of the unknown is the fear most dangerous. Mm. I'm not sure about this. Well. You have two rations of fruit? Whoa. Oh, right. I almost forgot. Okay, sure. Huh, that's kind of nice. Alright, let's do Cordelia. Or Cordelia. <sighs> the supplies have been unloaded and everything is accounted for, sir. Ah. ah, good work. Thank you. Next time, may I ask you to... <laughs> inspect the worn weapons and scrolls? Already done, sir. Oh, but I did have a number of questions regarding the layout of the camp. Listen. Frederick? Always impressive. I was just thinking how little you have changed from when I knew you in Elise. Back when you served the Royal Pegasus Knights. Always working harder than everyone and fighting some task that needs doing. Philia once confessed to me that she'd been lost without your help. I'm convinced it was her intention to eventually name you her successor. Huh? Philia said that? Ah. I envied her in truth. I have to wish that I possessed a successor of your caliber. <laughs> Come now, Frederick, sir. You go too far. 
people will get the wrong impression if they overhear such flattery. Right. The wrong impression? Ah, yes, I see. Apologies, my lady. I'm afraid I'm not as sensitive as you to know to how such things can be perceived. What? Of course not. Sometimes it feels as if every man only wishes to woo me. I see. Indeed. The stories of your colorful past certainly do precede you. What? Are stories? What stories? Frederick, what stories? <laughs> well, that's nice. Okay, who's next? Uh, I guess we'll just assume you. I'll get the next one. I'm so sorry, Frederick. No. It it's quite all right, my lady. I suppose it's a bit complicated the first time. But I can't believe I got lost patrolling the camp. So embarrassing. And I don't know how I managed to drop that potion. That expensive potion. Although he did agree the broom was worn out before it broke. So that's probably... Oh gosh, and the fire. I'm so sorry about the fire. You have a spare tent, right? Always impressive. Yes, well, look on the bright side. You did a splendid job pulling weeds. I don't see a single straggler in this entire camp. Yes. Well, I always liked making little chains and bracelet bracelets out of flowers. <laughs> uh, you did just pluck weeds, yes? Not the flowers from the flower beds? <laughs> flower beds? Oh, horse plop! It's true! All I'm good for is falling on my face. I'm going to go back to bed and pull the covers over my head. No. Please, my lady, no. You mustn't give up. Huh? But, but... Never fear. The most important part of any battle is that you give your all. Everything you did today was out of consideration for your fellow shepherds. And if the results were less than optimal, well, it's not the worst thing in the world. So long as you strive to help people, success will eventually find its way to you. <sighs> oh, Frederick, if you really think so, then I promise not to give up. Perhaps... I can make little flower necklaces for everyone. No. Please don't. <laughs> okay, um... Who's next? Ooh, okay, let's do Robin and Lanku. Hey. Well, Lanku, it looks like we're partners for today's training session. You'll go easy on me, won't you? Right. Hmm. Let's go. Was that a yes or a no? In any case, let's get on with it. Whoa. Huh, you're as good as they say. Thank you. Um. But not even bothering to draw your sword? It comes off as a bit, just a bit condescending. Sword play is a man's pursuit. What does a woman know of what? What, what in the blazes are you doing, woman? Why are you throwing figs? Huh? If you can't get close to your foe, you must engage him at long range. Basic tactics, really. I'm surprised you'd be unfamiliar with them. Pardon? Well, no matter. It's not as if you'll ever hit me with one. <laughs> oh, that sounds like a challenge. All right, Twinkle Toes, dodge this. hey ya hey ha Get back. Stop it. Don't come any closer. Please, stop throwing figs. Huh? We have to <laughs> get too close to <laughs> train properly. <laughs> Just a bit farther. Ugh, I won't stand here to be pelted with fruit by a madwoman. I'm leaving. What? Coward, get back here! <laughs> oh, you go, Robin. You teach him. Alright, I guess... Oh, should I do Lanku and Muriel? Uh, nah, I'll save it for later. Actually, you know what? No, screw it. Let's do it. Yeah. Screw it. Let's do it. Alright. Why did you do it? What? Your question is far too vague for... What? You filled my tent with statues of a woman, and most of them had no arms. Hmm? Ah, yes, that. Your question was ambiguous, Lanku. Specifically, is paramount in any inquiry. Regardless, the statues were an experiment to learn the extent of your aversion reflex. And now I may collect the results. So then, how did you react to the statues? Uh, uh, By smashing them? Fascinating. I see. So an inanimate likeness does trigger your reflex. <laughs> no, that's not the... Very gracious. Thank you for your cooperation. We, may, we can proceed to the next test once I pr 
procured sufficient female monkeys to. For the love of the all gods, no! You don't get it. What? I've made an error in my calculations. I didn't get rid of the statues because they look like women. There was barely enough room in my tent to stand. Plus, I don't want people to think I had issues. Indeed. Ah, I see your point. A man who claims to be consistently averse to women with a tent full of statues? He might indeed be the subject of scrutiny, to say nothing of scrutious, scrutious, scrutious rumor. Right. Assuming those words mean what I think they mean, yes, that's it, that's it exactly. Hmm. This was an oversight in my mythology. I apologize. We'll repeat the experiment in a secluded location. Get back. No, we won't. Fascinating. My heart is racing at the prospect of clean, reliable data. I said forget it! <laughs> uh, funny. Alright, now it's time to do Crom and Rubbin. I saved the best for last. I feel so awkward around Robin ever since that bathing tent run-in. <sighs> Whenever I end up alone with her, I'm just frozen in embarrassment. Ugh, what should I do? I never had this problem before. Ah, I know, a bath. Yes, perhaps a nice hot bath is just a thing for my nerves. I'll have a soak and then find Robin for a relaxed conversation, like always. Let's see, the lenses and axes are kept around here somewhere. I'll just take a quick inventory and see if any need repairs or replacing somewhere around here. Ah, here. The arm storage tent, I presume? Alright then, I'll just head in and... Ah! Huh? Robin? Where'd you come from? <laughs> Blazes, what are you screaming for? If anyone should be screaming, it's me, isn't it? You aren't supposed- Ouch! Ow, stop it! Stop throwing things! Hey, that's sharp! Don't- Ouch! Ugh, have you no shame? No, or not, you should at least wear a towel when you address a lady. But you- Ow! You were the one who walked in on me. I'm so sorry. I, I'm sorry, Crom. Are we done throwing things? Um. I think. I don't know what happened. Something just snapped and... Hmm. Well, no harm done. The God's justice, perhaps, for my earlier blunder. <laughs> well, anyway, thanks for being so good and mature about it all. I feel terrible about that soap dish. How's your ear doing? <laughs> better. It still stings a little, but better. In any case, look on the bright side. We've seen each other naked now, right? So I guess we got nothing left to hide. In any way, we're closer than ever. <laughs> Not the most appropriate way for a man and woman to get to know each other. But, I suppose as long as nobody else knows. <laughs> it's like we're partners in crime, sharing an unsavory past. Anything that brings us closer will make us stronger on the battlefield. Just you wait. <laughs> partners in crime? <laughs> I like the thought of that. Well, partner, your secret's safe with me. <laughs> oh my god, see? This is why I love the pairing up between Robin and Crom. They're just perfect for each other. It just... It just feels perfect, you know. I just think these two are the perfect pair, but... I don't know. It seems like the game is trying to, you know, say, you know, Krom and Sumia are the perfect pair for each other. I mean, remember that cutscene where Sumia, you know, say Krom and stuff, and... I don't know. It just seems like the game is trying to tell you, saying, hey, Sumia and Krom are the perfect pair. Join up with them. But, no, I think Robin and Krom are the perfect pair. They match each other perfectly. You know, personality and... <laughs> I mean, they both see each other naked. I mean, come on. Who does that in a relationship? It's just, you don't do that, but... It just works between the two of them, you know? Alright, so... Uh, Krom and Frederick, I'll save for later, but... Okay, so... There are supports. Let's move on to chapter 9, shall we? I mean, we've been doing supports for quite a while, so let's do it. Chapter 9. Chapter 9. Emerin. <sighs> so, Captain, 
Let me be certain I understand your report. Not only did you not confirm that the Elysian Party carries the Fire Emblem, but you can't even certain Prince Crom is even among them? Is that the gist of it? Yes, my lady. The air was thick with sand, even their number was difficult to ascertain. Perhaps you've gotten closer, Captain. Here, let me show you. No, I'm sorry, I... Ugh. Apology accepted. Do try not to kill all the soldiers, my dear. We'll need a few for the welcoming party. The Elysians will be here soon. Crom and the Emblem among them, I'm sure. That bleeding heart prince would never have put good sense before his sister. Hmm. And when they arrive? Let's destroy them. It will be a massacre worthy of their legendary father. The exiles to be executed at the castle in the morrow. I heard it from the king's own lips, sire. Right. This is it then. Hmm. Exactly as you predicted, Robin. <sighs> so far, yes. But tomorrow will be the true test. Please. Chin up there. Show some confidence. It's your thinking that got us this far. The plan is risky, but only as much as called for. It's all right. We'll find a way to stay through, Robin. Don't worry. This time tomorrow, we'll be swapping stories with M on the road home. Yeah. I hope you're right. Master Grima, Exile Emran is to be put to death on the morrow. Events will soon be back on course. <laughs> <laughs> yes. I should never doubt the truth of your words. The yoke of destiny cannot be cast off. Even as they resist, they write your future with every step, O oh Great One. Ah! Huh? Robin? Hey Robin, what's wrong? Was it a nightmare? Oh. Is that what it was? Y yes it must have been. I'm sorry, what brings you here, Lissa? Was there something you needed? <sighs> Frederick says it's time to march. We can't start the plan without our master tactician. Good people, warriors of Plegia, welcome, welcome one and all. Your anticipation electrifies the air. We all remember the crimes of Ulysse. Would you have the wretch queen answer for them? Here? Today? Now? Yes! Finally, we will have justice! Executioner, if you would be so kind. Flavia! Leave it to me. I've got him. Everyone, now! Alright, here we are. Chapter 9. And look at that, another desert map. Oh, this will be fun. Okay, let's see. Marth? Nope, don't need you. Rickon? Why not? Obviously, we're going to need Pegasus Knights and Mages since, you know, the 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 desert doesn't hinder them. Okay, who should go who with? Well, obviously, Krom is going to be with Robin, of course. And... I guess Cordelia can go with Frederick. Uh, Gregor... Oh, Gregor, you have, like, barely anything good. Hold on. Let me fix that. There you go. 
Okay, Gregor, you go with Noe. Um, okay, you two are together. I guess Maribel can go with Rickon. And... Hold on, who could Sumi be with? Mm. I guess I'll have Sumi and Lissa together. And I guess Lanku and Mary will be together. Okay, so, that's our pair-ups. Everything good for weapons? Oh, hold on. Let's give you... Ooh. I guess another physics staff. I guess I'll give Maribel a rescue staff, just because. Alright, let's look at the map. Okay, we have a bit of soldiers, women riders, a bunch of women riders. We got some mages, archers. Oh, we have an ally with us. Libra is his name. And he is a war monk, which is basically the advanced class of the of clerk. Or no, no, that, the war monk is the advanced class of the priest, right? I think it was the war maiden class. That's the advanced class of the clerk for Lissa. Yeah. So we're see if we can recruit Libra for our side. And we also have another character here. Tharja is her name. And it seems like we can recruit her as well, which we will. And here's our boss today. Campari. It's a weird name. Wilfo and Ill Hubert. Huh. But he drops a Draco shield, which is nice. Oh, but he has a spear, though, which sucks. And he also has... Passive, or passive, yeah, passive skill, which could help him, so gotta watch out for that. But look at that, we have Gangrel and Aversa right here. As you can see, they are very powerful, although Aversa is more powerful than Gangrel. Now, obviously, of course, we're not gonna face these two yet because, you know, that's not the boss, the boss is this guy, so. Well, it gives you like a heads up what you know their stats are gonna be like when we face them. So, yeah. Although Gangro has a dragon stone for some reason, which is kind of worthless because he can't transform. So I don't see why he keeps it. So yeah, that's the entire map. So yeah, our units position, weapons are good. Yep. Alright, so, let's do it. Listen to me. Take out the soldiers first. We'll deal with the Mad King later. Huh. Oh, will you now? <laughs> We've been expecting you, little prince. Men, kill him. Kill his sister. Kill his troops and his friends and anyone else you find. Kill them all! Oh my god, this music. I love this song so much. <laughs> yeah, I love this song so much. Oh, it's so good. I love it. <laughs> yeah, I just love this song. It's so much. It's very catchy. It's very epic and stuff. So, yeah. Okay, what do we got? Okay, we got some soldiers. Uh, one mage. Oh, the archer's a problem. And the women riders, too. Okay. 
Got to plan this nice and easy. Focus. <laughs> All right, you're gone. Um. Can you finish him? I think so, but should I risk it though? Here, let's give him let's get rid of the women rider first. Alright, he's gone. Who's next? Okay, what do you have? Okay, Silver Lance. Oh, uh, you have a Javelin. Alright. Hopefully you two can finish him, please. I've got your back. Come on. There you go. Nicely done. Okay, who's next? Um What can you do? Ooh, twelve. Four. Ooh, thirteen. Ooh, that sucks. Unless. Yeah, they should work. Ooh, nice. Again, with like a 6% chance critical, and she does it. Like, wow. Okay. Let's see. Um, yeah, let's get rid of you. Stay calm. Good job. Although this mage is a problem. Oh, it's gonna suck. Alright, move you here. And let's hope this goes well. <laughs> so we're here to kill or die here? Simply because the king commands it? Pfft, what do I care of these Elysians? We're given no reasons to fight, only orders. What's the point? Besides, I've always been quite good at choosing who to hate on my own. Alright, here we go. Oh, it's gone. But hey, we got Javelin. Ow, what? How'd you hit? Uh-oh. Ooh, ouch. Oh no! Oh, we're fine, never mind. Big mistake, buddy. We're not done yet. Now that strategy. Axel Emerin, no! God speed me to her side. Are you heal? Not gonna attack? Okay. Alright, so uh, yeah, let's put you here. Mm. No, I can't do it. Crap. Uh can I heal. Well, I can, but still. Oh, hey, level up. Nice. Magic skill, luck. Cool. Okay. Uh, who should go? Oh, that's not good at all. Nope. 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 Okay, nope. Okay, how far can you go? Okay, you can only go there. So let's put you there. Right. Can you... Alright, you know what, let's put you here, put the javelin just in case. 
There we go. Oh, jeez. Oh, you attack Cordelia? I thought you were gonna attack Sumia. Uh oh. Phew. Oh, big mistake. Huh, really? Look at that. Zero damage. Man, freaking Novi is strong. Ooh, killer bow. Nice. Oh no, four damage. What am I gonna do? Huh? You missed. You suck. Just on the move. Damn you! Where's the damn Wyvern Brigade? Hurry! Close off their escape! Uh oh. Sounds like there's reinforcements coming. Better make this quick. Why, thank you. Oh, you, I don't want you to attack though, so I don't want her to die because I want to recruit her. Ooh. Okay, hold on. How am I going to do this? Hmm. Actually, hold on. I think I might know what to do. Here we go. Last use. And done. Nice. Hmm. A challenge. Cool. It's gone, but hey, at least you, you know, used it one last time, because, you know, used a Luna and got a critical, so I say that's a worthy last use of the weapon. Okay, you need to go. You leave him alone. That was close. All right, hopefully this goes well. Focus. All right. Oh, that's fine. And level up. Uh oh. Come on, miss, miss. Phew. Starja. Ooh. Actually, here. Here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to rescue Robin. That way, I can move Krom closer so I can recruit Tharja. <clears throat> you there. Are you with the Pelagians? You seem reluctant to fight. Maybe. Death comes for all of us eventually. Why fight early? Fighting for a cause I don't believe in. What? So... I should take that as a no, or... Let's just say I'm keeping my options open. I mean, long live the king and all, but I like to keep living as well. And I have a bit of a rebellious streak. I'm afraid, uh, dark side. Good. That perhaps you would rebel now and fight for our cause? What? You would trust me? 
What if this is just a ploy to plunge a dagger in your back? Hmm. My sister, the exiled, I think she would trust you. And I'm trying to learn from her. Besides, I already need to watch my back. Whether you're with us or not. Interesting. Well, that's odd. Usually when I bring up the backstabbing bit, the discussion is over. Alright then, consider me your new ally. For now. Well, welcome to the party. I'm pretty sure you'll be a valuable member of the team. Alright, now the Tharja is recruited. All we need is Libra now. Is it Libra or Libra? I can't tell. I'm gonna call I'm gonna call him Libra. It just seems it sounds simpler to me saying calling him Libra instead of Libra. Very gracious of you. Alright, all that's left now is the boss, but Unfortunately, he did mention there's going to be reinforcements, so let's prepare ourselves for those reinforcements. And he should be coming this turn, right? Nope. Huh. Oh well. Alright, now to recruit Libra. Hey. You there. Who are you? Why do you fight alone? Good heavens. You're Prince Krom. Brother to Exile to her, the Grace. Or what? Brother to her Exile. Wait, what? Sorry, I messed up. Good heavens, your Prince Crom, brother to her Grace the Exile. There we go. You know me? Yes. Know you? Of course, sire. All of Ulysses and clergy do. I must thank the gods for uniting us. Oh, dear is the most heavenly father. <sighs> With all respect, now is not the time for prayer. It's action that's called for. <laughs> ah, too true. We heard here to help as soon as the word came of the execution. <coughs> we? Then there are more of you? <coughs> Alas, there were. I lost many brave comrades along the way. In truth, I was starting to doubt the purpose of my struggle. But no longer. Pray, sire, let me let my acts serve you and your party. Yes. Your love for my sister is clear. I would be honored to be joined by such a formidable woman at the cloth. Um. Man, sir. Man at the cloth. You're a... You're not a woman? Beg pardon. No, sire. Women are clerks. I am a priest. Well, technically a war monk, if you care to split hairs. Forgive me. Oh, yes. Well, um... I didn't mean to imply. Well, this is rather awkward. No. Oh, it's alright, sire. You realize your mistake quickly enough. It could have been much more awkward. <laughs> much more. <laughs> right, let's stop there. <laughs> All right, so we have two new companions with us. Cool. All right, where are those reinforcements? They should be coming. All right, let's pair up with you two. And there. Oh, there they are. Oh. Here we go. Ooh, that's quite a bit of Wyvern Riders. But you know what? I'm gonna have no idea with them. Why? Because she can handle them, no problem. Hmm. Uh, yeah, this would be perfect. Can you go uh, quite a bit? Let's move back a bit so that the Wyvern Riders don't attack them and only no we. Well, I feel edified. Can, can you reach? No, you can't. Good. Alright, Noe. 
show him what you can do. Oh yeah, she can like one-shot these guys, no problem. Look at that, you're just lying up to be slaughtered. This is quite pathetic, really. Oh, got some survivors. Oh, they can't reach unless. Yeah, this should work. Stay calm. Have Always impressive. Perfect. All right, finish him. That should be all the reinforcements, so let's move on to the boss. Alright, go here, there. Uh, you don't do anything, so you stay. Go there. Alright. More conversation. Nice. Okay, who should get the kill? Ooh. Crom, you can do. Ooh. Yeah, that's not gonna work. Oh, you can only do one more hit. Ooh, has she? Yeah, let's have Noe. Down to him a bit, and I think we'll have Krom do the finishing kill. Yeah, that should be fine. You'll never save your precious exiled scum. Yeah, I will see about that. Douchebag. Alright, Krom. Would you mind finishing the honors? Or do the honors of finishing him? Oh. Oh, there we go. Alright, kill him. You're done. Ugh, killing me will only feed Plegia's rage. Nice, get Draco Shield. And we're done. Right. Robin, the women riders have fallen. The skies are clear. I'll give it the signal. Your Grace. Philia, I'm so glad to see you're safe, but how? Right. Come, Basilia's men freed me. Come, we must hurry. What? What? Pegasus Knights? How did they... That damn Ulysses tactician does not play fair! <laughs> yes, well, neither do I. What? Risen? Oh gods, no! Krom, they're risen everywhere! What? Damn, not now! Oh, did an army of living corpses just appear out of the blue? Truly the heavens smile upon mighty King Gangle this day. <laughs> oh no. Impossible. Oh! Risen! How? Your, your grace, I... Forgive me. Uh... Oh, no. Philia! <laughs> Exeon. Exeon, one picks this night. <laughs> Watch us how they fall, one by one. No, no, no! no. God. We've lost! I believe this is what they call fortune, reversal of fortunes. 
Now, grab up before me. Plead. Beg for your worthless lives. I will not fail. I give up my life before I beg it for, for it from you. Man? Oh, now that is a good line. A fitting epitaph for your tombstone, perhaps? But it's not just your life in the balance. The exile still stands upon the block. And I have a dozen bows trained on her. All it would take is one word from me. Sister. Em, hold on, I'm... Oopsie. Archers. If this is some pup so much as twitches, let fly your arrows. Uh, I'll kill you! Go ahead. I welcome it. Just know you were responsible for Big Sister's bloody demise. And what are the rest of you, eh? Who wants the honor of killing the exult? No one? Ha! <laughs> your married baron isn't quite so headstrong anymore, is it? Pathetic. Damn you! Back for your life! Now, now, my boy. No one needs to die today. Not you, not the exult, not your friends. Just lay down your sword and give me the fire emblem. I... You can't trust him. Still. Of course I can't trust him. I'm not an idiot. But if I just say no, he'll kill her. The gods are cruel. Damn them. My sister and my duty. A problem with no right answer. Yet I must choose. Ooh, should we do it? Yeah. Well, actually, it doesn't really matter what you choose. When you say yes or no, it's still the same thing. So, no, we're not going to do it. That's right, don't give up. There has to be a way. If there is, I can't see it. Ah, gods. <clears throat> I will count to three. Throw down your weapons or exalt becomes the world's largest quiver. One, two, three. Wait. Gangrel, hold. You win. Everyone, lay down your- Enough. No, wait. <laughs> Silence. Sister. Um, King Gangrel, is there no hope you will listen to reason? You may listen to more of your sanctimonious babble? I think not. No, all I want to hear now is the thunk of arrows and a splat as you hit the ground. Take one last look from your perch. You do so enjoy looking down on people. Then prepare to meet the ground and your maker. That is, unless someone were to give me the emblem now. Wait. All right. All right. Em, I know you won't approve, but this is my final decision. Maybe someday we'll face a crisis where maybe the emblem would have helped. But I know for a fact that Ulysse needs you today. The people need their exalt. And we need our sister. If those dark days which should come, we'll face them together. Crumb. Thank you. I know now what must I must do. <clears throat> Am, what are you? <clears throat> Pelagians, I ask that you hear the truth of my words. War will win no you nothing, or war will win you nothing but sadness and pain, both inside your borders and out. Free yourselves from this hatred, from this cycle of pain and vengeance. Do what you must, as I will do. See now that one selfless act has the power to change the world. Sister! Am, no! No! No reaction. Was I wrong then? Crom, this is some torch I'm passing you.
Oh god. Damn you, Gangro! No! Well now, how disgustedly noble. And so lovely a fall. Here I thought death to be an ugly thing. I've never seen one fall so gracefully, in fact, and I've seen many fall. Ah, so ends Emrin, Ulysses most exalted. But how can we ensure everyone remembers this beautiful moment of her sacrifice? Perhaps we should gather up her body and put up display. <laughs> Gangro, you die today! Go. No boy, I secure an escape route. We have to flee. Sister. But her body, I have to... Hell no. You have to run. Now do it. Robin, don't let him do anything stupid. No. Oh, gods, no. No. No, I'm too late. Our bleak future is written once more. And darkness awaits us all. Well, that just happened. Oh, that sucks. She just sacrificed herself. Oh, wow. Jeez. Oh, look, another paralogue. <laughs> oh, hey. Oh, jeez. Not more risen. Come on. Oh. Hey, look at that. Another master seal. Exactly what I needed. Perfect. All right, so... Yeah, that was chapter 9, a pretty interesting chapter, but also a very important one to the story overall, so... Yeah. But unfortunately, this is where I'm going to end this video right here, so... I hope you guys enjoyed this, and if you did, be sure to leave a like and comment as well. And next time, well... We could do chapter 10, or we could do the paralogue. This one right here. Well, uh, we'll see how it goes. I'll think about it. Like I always do, and I'll just feel like, you know, think about it and see what I feel like doing next time. But, yeah. So, this has been Hesitated Cobra here, and I'll see you guys next time. See ya.